Girl T here, back with the Tuesday Vidya. I know you guys are having a beautiful, blessed day because your tea timers is absolutely what we do. Our affirmation of the day is only my positive thoughts manifest. Only my positive thoughts manifest. We're tea timers. Only our positive thoughts manifest. We don't got time for those negative thoughts. I wanted to just do a quick video to show you guys that I put my money where my mouth is. I've told you guys before, the best manifester I've ever met in my life is my little boy who's four years old and he is on point. When he wants something, he asks for it over and over again and he gets his way. Obviously, he's a child. He doesn't have all of our resistance or preconceived ideas yet, so he's just forming his own ideas now and he is taking in the world as it comes and he sees everything literally. So I just wanted to show you him as an example of how easy it is to change our thoughts and how easy the process actually is. It's just when we're adults, it gets overcomplicated with all these rules and regulations because that's what we do as adults. We have to add all these rules. We have to get over the things that we've been taught. We have to reverse engineer things that we usually do. And we have to break through resistance. So watch this little clip. It's like 40 seconds long of when I ask my son what he says when people say rude things to him. And then we'll come back. What are you going to do if somebody says you're ugly? I will say you don't be Yes, I, I gonna say I so smart. And what else are you? I so handsome. And what else? I so uh, I'm a prince. So as you can see from the video, he has a good self concept. He knows that when somebody says something negative to him, like uh, "you're ugly," he his response is "no, I'm smart." His response is, no, I'm a prince or whatever he wants to say, but he's coming back at the thought with a positive, uh, with a positive self-concept. That's as simple as it is for us. When we go through the day and things come up for us throughout the day, we have to do our best not to get sidetracked by those dirty 3D thoughts and stay in the 4D, which is our imagination saying where we want to go and how we want to do it, changing the thought over to a different affirmation. It's, I was thinking about this today, and it's kind of like when I drive in my car with my older son, who's 18. He wants to listen to his music, and I have an earpiece in with my affirmations. So his music would be the 3D. It's loud, it's obnoxious, it wants to steal our attention. And if I don't really pay attention to my affirmations going in my earbud, I'll get sucked into that 3D world of the music that I don't necessarily want to hear. If I focus and listen to my affirmations and make them louder in my mind, which is the 4D, then I'll, I'll be able to absorb those as opposed to the music he's playing. Same idea with us as we go through our day to day, we just have to do our best not to let the 3D take advantage of us. And I've explained this to a few people, but we wanna use our everyday things to get what we want. Like when we're taking a shower, I always say the shower cleanses away all negative, um, all of my negative energy. Or when I'm driving my car, I say things like, or when I'm driving my car, I'll just be like, every time I drive my car, all my negative thoughts disappear. Or every time I, every time I check my bank account, more money appears. Or every time I think of my SP, they think of me 10 times more. There's so many things that we can use throughout the day to make this manifestation process easier for us. But the general rule of thumb is to prioritize feeling good and being in a, in a state of well-being and to focus more on what we want than what we don't want. And I just wanted to show you my son in this video today to remind you that kids have it right. They don't have all those preconceived ideas. All they know is I want something and I'm going to get it. And that's the energy we have to have. I want something, I'm going to get it. So if anything that opposes what I want comes up, I'm rejecting it. And I'm going back to the thought of what I actually do want. And eventually with repetition, like a real physical diet, we're going to lose the weight. Or with repetition of our affirmations, we're going to get our manifestation. Diets take a few months to a year. 
affirmations might take a week, two weeks, three months, whatever to kick in. But every time you guys are clock watching and saying, I've been trying to manifest for this amount of time and it's not working, that shows me that you're engaging with the 3D too much. Because if you're living in your 40 and and uh, reflecting on what's going on in your imagination and having those conversations you want to have, seeing those things you want to do, see, living, saturating yourself in the 4D, you wouldn't be worried about the time frame in the 3D because that's of no consequence to you. You already have what you want up here. I know this is going to make sense. I intend it does. And I know you guys are going to have a beautiful blessed day because your tea timers, it's what we do. Thank you for all the subs. I'm very close to a thousand subscribers. As I said before, when I hit a thousand subs, I will roll out some sort of coaching program. But for now, you guys can email me with your thoughts, questions, whatever, and your video suggestions. I love that. But for what, <clears throat> excuse me, but um, I don't know where I'm going with this. Anyways, I love y'all but not as much as you should be loving yourselves. Have a beautiful, blessed Tuesday. Bye.